peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for salvation. Thank you for your perfectly preserved word in English, the King James Bible. Thank you for your clear instruction. I pray that today's video will be one of edification and out of love for those who may need repentance where it is necessary. I pray that you bless the listener wherever they may be at in their walk in Christ as I pray for forgiveness so your will may be done in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray amen something is radically wrong as your friend I'm telling you you've got to get right with God you've got to repent and trust the Savior and bring forth fruit worthy of your repentance disclaimer this is not an attack on Ray Comfort personally however as with any video on rightly dividing if someone uses the Word of God incorrectly i.e. sharing a different gospel I'd like to appeal to what God's Word actually says scripture is for it is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction an incorrect gospel condemns people to hell and that is why we are to share the true gospel that saves the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth on the death burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ repent of all sins stop lusting lying stealing from your boss playing the hypocrite bad language let go of all sin 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 trust in Christ alone does this make sense the Apostle Paul says in Galatians chapter 1 verses 6 to 8 I marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Simply put, we are saved by grace through faith, which is the gift of God and not of works. Now, in a previous video, I made a point that New Zealand minister Ray Comfort from Living Waters shares a false gospel, namely, repent of your sins. Firstly, in the entire Bible, that phrase repent of your sins or repent from all of your sins is not found not even once, certainly does not pertain to today's church age. Secondly, although repentance is important for salvation, it is not a work that Ray Comfort and many other preachers alike make it out to be. This is what I mean. It's where you actually perpetually turn from sin. That is, you can't say, I'm a Christian, but you fornicate and lie and steal and look at pornography and blaspheme. That's playing the hypocrite and just deceiving yourself. So your repentance must be genuine and sincere. Either A, Ray Comfort plays dumb and willingly shares another gospel by adding something unbiblical to salvation, which makes Ray Comfort a Bible corrupter, or B, Ray Comfort does not know what repentance means himself, which speaks of ignorance, and that too is a sin. So whichever way we look at this, Ray Comfort is sharing a false gospel and ironically must repent himself toward the Lord. If he doesn't, well, that's pride, which is not just another sin. It is the sin that got Lucifer kicked out of heaven. Now, I want you to watch this next clip where Ray Comfort witnesses to a man who had a bit much to drink beforehand. He confesses to be a born-again Christian, and even though he appears carnal, doesn't know too much scripture, he catches Ray Comfort. Watch this. Out of one to ten, where would you say your walk with God is? If it's ten, it's just perfect. Where would you say it is? I'd say it's about four. I'm trying to be trying to be loyal. But uh And you'll be drinking tonight? Been drinking a little bit backsliding, but it's okay. It's okay? i I have to say it's okay. Sorry. Do you think you're a good person, Marcus? Oh I'm a good person. I don't try to lie to any of my friends. I I love them to death. So you've and, got a good heart? Oh yes, oh yes. I try to I, I try to talk to them a little bit while we're drinking. Try to tell them it's a bad way to go. My uncle has actually went. You're drinking with them. How can you tell them it's a bad way to go when you're doing what they're doing? See, I can't answer that. I don't know. So, Marcus, let's go back to you being a good person. How many lies have you told in your life? How many lies? Countless. What do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. Have you ever stolen anything? Ah, uh, yes. You when I was some... younger. Yeah, what do you call someone who steals things? Uh. Dealer. Thief. Thief, yeah, sure. Maybe have you have used God's name in vain? Of course. But you love God? I love God. Why would you use his name as a cuss word? It's called uh, blasphemy, Marcus. It's very yes, serious. That, that is true, yes. Now, Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust after her, I love it. You commit adultery with her in that's your heart. That's true, that's true. But uh, it happens. It happens. I'm sorry to say it happens. Have you had sex out of marriage? Uh, yes, one time. 
So Marcus, this is by your own admission, I'm not judging you. You're, no. a, you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, sure, an yeah. adulterer at heart, and a fornicator. Yeah. So you're not you a good that. person. No, I guess you could say that. Your heart I don't is deceitfully that. wicked. Sorry, that's what it says in the Bible. At least this drunken man is honest. And yes, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. But, so yeah. if you were to die today? I would go to heaven because I am a born-again Christian through baptism, through renouncing my skins. I'm still going to heaven. So have you read Matthew 23? No, I cannot say I have. Well, let me share what, exactly what it says. Okay. Jesus said, if, if that servant shall say, my Lord delays his coming and begin to drink with the drunken okay. and smite his fellow servants, sure. Jesus said, the Lord of that servant will come in an hour that he thinks not yep. and cut him in half and he'll give him his portion and, with the hypocrites. You know I, what that I, is? I, I could take that, but I am also going to heaven because I have renounced my sins and... Marcus, you're mm -hmm. still committing them. You're drinking I'm, with the drunken. Sure, sure. I'm still committing them. And your language was terrible when I first spoke to you. Sure, <laughs> yeah. You think you, could, you think you could be a false convert? A false convert. Ooh. Well, Ray Comfort could be just as much a false convert based on his own definition of repentance. Just because Ray goes out showing and exposing other people's sin doesn't prove Ray Comfort is free from sin himself. In our flesh, we are still able to commit sin. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. We read in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. This is furthermore accentuated in Romans 3 verse 10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. This goes for everyone, including Mr. Ray Comfort. Doing things for the Lord Jesus Christ means absolutely nothing if you don't operate from faith in Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection first. The Word of God says in Isaiah 64 verse 6, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. Jesus spoke of that, and this is what he said, Marcus, it's real important. I'm hearing you. He said, on the day of judgment, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we've done wonderful things in your name. I'm hearing you. And then he said, but I'll say to them, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, I never knew you. No, I've definitely conversion. known Jesus Christ as my Savior, and I'm going to heaven. That's what it says. You're absolutely it, it, sure of that. If I renounce my sins, I am going to heaven, so... Well, it's more than renounce. You've got to repent and trust the Savior. Tell me why Jesus died on the cross. For our sins, and to let everybody who believes in Him go to heaven. Well, the devil believes in Him. Hitler believed in Him. A lot of people believe in Jesus, but they haven't repented and trusted in Him. Marcus... True. But I have... I do trust in him. Marcus, if you and I were standing on the edge of a plane 20,000 feet up, okay. and you saw that I had a parachute on that was very loose. Okay. I would, I would tell you to go back into the plane, and you do not want to die right now. You want to tighten that parachute up. Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying to you tonight. We're talking about your eternity. If you die in the state you're in, you'll end up in hell according to the Bible. I'm, I'm sorry. I do not believe that. Yeah. Well, I want you to tighten that parachute up. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. The fact Ray Comfort is sharing a false gospel without willing to repent himself could very well prove Ray Comfort is focusing on his own righteousness and works in the which case the Lord Jesus Christ could reprove Ray Comfort with the very own passage he likes to reprove others of their sins. We've done wonderful things in your name. I'm hearing you. And then he said, but I'll say to them, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, I never knew you. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And most preachers like Ray Comfort don't actually accentuate the will of the Father, which we find in John chapter 6, verse 40. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Notice how it didn't say you have to repent of all your sins first. No, the will of the Father is simply that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I, the Lord Jesus Christ, will raise him up at the last day. No, I definitely know in Jesus Christ as my Savior, and I'm going to heaven. That's what it says. You're absolutely if, sure if, of that. If I renounce my sins, I am going to heaven, so. Well, it's more than renounce, you've got to repent and trust the Savior. Again, this is not an attack on Ray Comfort personally. I just like to appeal what God's word says, scripture is for. 
it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. An incorrect gospel condemns people to hell, and that is why we are to share the correct gospel. Are you living in holiness? Yes, sir. What's well, holiness? Yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot say yes, sir. The Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So listen, Marcus, something is radically wrong. As your friend, I'm telling you, you've got to get right with God. You've got to repent and trust the Savior and bring forth fruit worthy of your repentance. Okay? Sure. Yeah. And then read the Bible daily because that book will accuse you of sin. And when you're in sin, you won't want to read it. You'll stay away from it. I hear you. We're talking about your eternity, heaven no. or hell. Yes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for salvation. Thank you so much for your amazing grace. I pray that this video was a blessing to anyone listening. I pray that you will continue to bless this channel, not for my glory, but for yours, so that more people can grow in faith and in grace. Forgive us for our shortcomings, Lord, so your will may be done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.